subiendo los asesinatos ya. Eh, Oye, yeah. eh. un R Black out red dot, llegamos y cierran el clock. Ganguero John Top, el foreign drop top, más herramientas que vos. Cuidado con los cops, 27 rojos, blood. Todo el mundo con el dedo para arriba. 27 rojos, blood. Oh, yeah. 19 aquí con laser, el cuello frisa, yo freezer. Mi chula el milel en pacer para la pista laser. 27 rojos, blood. Oh, 27 rojo blood. Yeah. ¿Quién va a ser? Tengo un draco que es Romanian, la pasta, el Italian, cantante, pero Malian, mueren juntos y se alian, yeah. Y esa no está, pero conmigo está su fantasma. Y le compré un R Black a Guama, no, tito, sé cómo que tiene ama. Y Broco está preso, no muerto. Allanaron a doble porque tiene el perico que tiene el canto despierto. Cuidado con los chotis, con los encubiertos. Y cuando el kilo corone, tú pícalo. Carro que esté raro, tú indícalo. Y para que esté raro, despídalo. Cuando mate a los ojos, tú míralo, míralo. Un R Black out red dot, llegamos y cierran el clock. Ganguero John Top, el foreign drop top. Más herramientas que vos, cuidado con los cops. 27 rojos, blood. 27 rojo blood. Yeah. 19 aquí con laser. El cuello frisa, yo freezer. Mi chula el milel en pacer para la pista laser. 27 rojo blood. 27 rojo blood. Yeah. ¿Quién va a ser? Ahora dime laser. Free broco. Ah, aquí todo el mundo tiene gente que mata gente en este Puerto Rico. Ah, porquería roncar a esa gente. No están haciendo un mal
Hey, hello and welcome. It is episode 46 of Ahead of the Game. Yay! So as you guys all know, we have a bit of a special episode today because we are going to have a little bit of a film takeover right after we do our usual updates. So before we start anything else, you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because we're out here showing you guys love. So the least you can do is show us some too. All right. So let's get started. Um, actually, sorry, before we even get started, make sure you guys join the film discord as well. Be part of that discussion. There's so much going on in film, music, all of it. Okay, so make sure you join all of the discords and uh, join the discussion. Whew, that that was a that was a long little speech there. Anyways, there's a few um, things we need to take care of, but let's go ahead and start with happy birthday to Tiny. Woo, happy birthday. It's her birthday today, so I hope she has a day off. I'm not quite sure if she does, but I hope she does because uh, she deserves it. It's her day. All right, everyone wish her a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Tiny. Next up, I wanted to say congratulations to all of the winners from last week that got um, the mystery boxes. Congratulations. All of that should have gone out yesterday. Um, yeah, so take a look in your inboxes and uh, everything should be there. So let's get started. Um, first update we have is going to be for Gala Chain. So uh, Gala Chain quarter one recap is actually out and available to read. So this can be found in our Gala Games news tab um, under the Gala Chain subsection. So lots of accomplishments in Q1. So yay, Chain team. It's a lot to be proud of. Give yourselves a pat on the back. You guys did good. Still lots and lots more to come. Next up, we have the Marketplace. So a new Gala Film collection has been created. So it's going to hold all of the bridged um, film NFTs. And this, honestly, is just in time for the film launch. So yay, film launch. Um, up next, we have a little bit on film. So just like last week with music, we have a more involved segment with uh, Gala Film coming up in a little bit. So hang tight and we'll have uh, some awesome content to share with you guys in a bit. Next up, we have music. So again, like I was saying, all the boxes should have been distributed as of yesterday. So once again, congratulations to all of you guys winners. Um, let me know what you guys have gotten in some of these boxes because I'm always curious to see what has been pulled in mystery boxes and what kind of rare stuff you guys got. So make sure you guys let me know in the comments or in the chat. All right. Okay, so brand new to our knowledge base. So one of the only things that was published this week that has been brand new, or sorry, not has been, that is brand new is confirming port forwarding is active. Now for the updated articles, we are looking at Linux Gala node software commands, Linux Gala software com common issues, um, updating Gala node three software on Ubuntu Linux, forgotten transfer code and recovery phase, phrase, not phase, phrase, uh, Gala news and Gala medium pages. How can I view items, which are NFTs in a contract, refund policies for founders nodes, common ground music, com or sorry, common ground world, common issues. Woo, that's a tongue twister and a half. Let's say that five times fast, hey? <laughs> Gala music, hold music tokens against artists. Gala Music, what are points? Gala Music, benefits of holding music token against artists. Um, the All Access Fan Store, getting started with Gala Music app. And last but not least, uninstall the Gala Launcher on Windows. Um, so again, all of those articles have previously been up already. They have just been updated to reflect anything that's been updated on our end. So if you haven't taken a gander lately, make sure you get in there, take a look, read up on it, see if anything's changed and if you guys need to update for you as well. Okay, now on to our usual game updates. So let's go ahead and start with Common Ground World. So as you guys already know, um, the town hall is still scheduled tomorrow for 8 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, the question submission form is in its usual place in Discord. And remember, if you don't submit those questions, they won't be asked or they won't be answered. So make sure you get asking and asking you shall receive, right? 
So next week's competition is going to run from April 16th to April 19th. And the topic or theme is glowing crimson. So the meta is going to be red lamps. Biome is forest west with oil seep. Now the edges are going to be north mountain, east mountain, south river, and west desert. So the reward structure still follows gala, um, which is the top 1200 okay and an nft reward which is the crafty art and decor so the minimum requirement to uh qualify for that is going to be if you sell at least 100 bread lamps crafted items this week include sorry crafted items needed next week includes light red steel copper wire lumber and energy now, NFT Blueprint, um, now this is for the crafty art and decor. It'll reduce craft times for crafts in the art and decor shop. Craft speeds increase in percentage when stacked with similar effect NFTs, such as the Miranda skin. Uh, multiple crafty art and decor blueprints do not stack with each other. So the increases for these NFTs, if it's under luxury, it's going to be 20%. Platinum is going to be 18%. Legendary is going to be 16%. Epic is going to be 14%. Your rare is going to be 12%. And the uncommon at 10%. Now the upcoming NFT um, for next week's sale is going to be the Epic Sandcastle. Ooh, pretty, isn't it? I like it. So this NFT provides a steady yield of three to two to one passive sand um, to surround tiles and movement speed boost to all forklift and industrial workers in your town. Now the supply is going to be 800 and the price of this new NFT is going to be $300 USD. Now in other notes in common ground world, the common ground world team is working on NFT transfers that are going to have a 24 hour cooldown period. This is to avoid cheating on fast forward. Now, you guys, I know I've talked about this before, but seriously, let's be good about gaming. Like cheating is always frowned upon, like no matter where you apply it, like your hairdresser, your spouse, like even games, just don't do it. Like it, it's got such like a dirty sound to it, like cheating, Ooh, you know, like just don't do it. It doesn't matter where it's applied. It's just gross. Like avoid that unwanted side eye of like cheater. You know, like just avoid it. Don't do it. All right. Um, other than that, the Bright Wind NFT is sold out. Holy moly, you guys. So eventually it is going to be restocked. Um, but when? Nobody knows. But when it does, we will let you know. Um, and there is also confirmation that May Mayhem, or maybe not May, but the Mayhem is happening. So details are still under wraps, but we will release them as the date gets closer. Up next, we have Mirandas. All right, so as we already know, we have a new studio in Santiago, Chile. So Pablo Mera will lead the studio, which will take over Miranda's development. So everyone, let's give a round of applause. We're excited to see what comes to comes in Miranda's in the future here. So for the Miranda share today, we have the layout of the village of the Earl. So personally, I wish it was given to us in another game, in-game tour of kind of like the village, um, sorry, kind of like the prince, the town of the prince that we saw in the previous week. It gives us a little bit more feel of, you know, what it's going to be like. Um, I find that still images don't do the game justice. So I would have preferred if, you know, we got like an in-game in -game clip, but we didn't. But that's okay. That's okay. That is at least something we can look forward to. So maybe next week hopefully we get something on that so maybe next week up next we have voyager ascension you guys let's take a look we got a clip oh just technical difficulties but it is coming so super excited for this um now the launch date for Voyager is April 23rd, okay? It's the very first third party creator game on Gala Chain, okay? So again, it is launching April 23rd, so be ready you guys. It's coming in quick. 
Now, in anticipation to the launch, our very own Bitbender is going to be sitting down with our friends at Reflex Studio to for a chat um, over Twitter Spaces. And that's going to be April 19th at 10 a.m. Pacific. So make sure you guys mark that on your calendar so you don't miss that chat. Now, Paul, are we ready? Perfect. Let's let's take a look. This is Tarvos. Our bots are malfunctioning. Two people are dead, several injured, three missing. And your safety remains our top priority. So how cool was that? Like, I've never seen the trailer before. This is the very first time and I am blown away. I can't wait to go and play that. And also, I hope that is part of the game soundtrack because it's got some banging beats in the background too. Like, another thing I would really, really like is if we had game soundtracks released with music, but we'll talk about that another day. Anywho, moving on, uh, I also forgot to let you guys know that you guys got to make sure you tune in next week for another opportunity to hear a little bit more about Voyager. So if you guys have questions, save it for next week. All right, get asking then, and then we'll have answers for you. All right, moving on to Last Expedition. So um, I have... Okay, sorry, let me start again <laughs> with Last Expedition. Um, every week, honestly, I look forward to um, Last Expedition because they always give us like the coolest, coolest in-game clips. So um, yeah, they never fall short on giving us cool stuff. So I'm super excited to share with you guys um, one of the coolest weapons ever. So this is the Tempest. Let's take a look. So you guys have no idea how much love I have for hella powerful weapons that just like one hit kills things. Like the way the rocket launcher just goes and all you see is like guts and stuff flying everywhere. Like, oh my God, I love it so much. Like, um, heck yeah, Code Brown, no more friends. Okay, we have the Tempest. So fear not, lots of cool weapons coming. And again, if you guys haven't played Last Expedition yet, why not? get playing like there's so much action in there there's so much cool shit for you guys to see and it's fun okay it's really fun so again if you haven't played it get in there get playing and you know just play around with all the new weapons that shit is so cool so cool i love it Whew. all right next up we have legends reborn so what's going on in the world of legends reborn Card crafting is live in game. How exciting is that? So the crafting system introduces a dynamic new approach to obtaining cards that you've been coveting. So by dismantling cards within your existing collection, you can harness the resources needed to finally craft the cards, craft the cards your deck desperately needs. So this innovation system enhances your strategic depth and opens up new adventures for customizing and personalizing your gameplay experience. Uh, so with the crafting 
system. The power to shape your destiny is right at your fingertips. So join us in game to craft your own cards and we'll see what the tables. Oh, 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 oh. And one more thing, you guys. So just in from good Paul, be on the lookout for something special in the gala, gala store. So just keep your eyes and ears peeled. Look out for that because uh, something awesome is coming, but we just can't tell you yet. So when the time comes, you guys will know. Just keep your eyes and ears peeled. Next up, we have Gala Games Plays. So last Friday, JD introduced a new face to the Gala community while playing Call of Duty. So he'll be hosting another similar stream tomorrow evening. So don't forget to like and subscribe for our YouTube channel to be notified when this happens. Now, I understand that, you know, we don't always have um, a schedule out for you guys right now, which is why it's important for you guys to hit the notification bell so you know when it comes out, all right? So make sure you do that. Everyone does like the whole like and subscribe thing, but notification bell, I don't know, you guys. Make sure you hit the notification bell. It's very important, very, very important. Um, so this Tuesday, Sinister was actually joined by an amazing community member, and it was Shadow Knight. So they were playing Legends Reborn, and it was a pretty awesome stream showcasing the process of building a custom deck and a thought process behind the winning strategies in-game. So next week, um, next Tuesday, we have a special stream featuring Voyager Ascension, you guys. So make sure uh, you guys tune in for that because you guys aren't going to want to miss that. Like, I certainly don't want to miss it. So I'm going to be there for sure. Um, it's going to provide a little bit of a look into uh, the game's release. And we're going to have some interviews and, yeah, all of that good stuff. So make sure you guys tune in. All right. And now for the very special segment, we have a very special guest here from Gala Film. We have Hutch. So everyone, let's give him a warm welcome. Come on in, Hutch. Hey, how's it going? Doing well, how are you? I'm very well, yes. I'm, Yay, I'm very tired. <laughs> there's, uh, there's obviously no sleep on launch week, so, uh, you know, we're, we're uh, pedal to the metal to get everything ready, but, uh, yeah, we're really excited about launching the next division of Gala. Awesome. So we're all super, super excited to hear what you got to say, what you got to tell us today. Okay, I, I've been given a list by, by the marketing <laughs> team. Okay. I'm just going to make sure that I hit everything on that. But the the big news is that today our platform goes live. Um, on on Sunday, we're going to be putting the first two episodes of Razor up for the world to see. But if you are a Razor Genesis holder or a Node holder or a Moment holder, you get to watch that today. So that's the big news. Um, yeah, the rest, the rest here, obviously we've got, we've got our, our nodes alive. This is actually, um, one of the most exciting things that I've seen come out of the, of the node, uh, the node team recently, because we're actually using that decentralized node network to deliver our streamed content to people. So massive, massive tech stack that's backing up all of this incredible creative stuff that we've got going on. But yes, we are, we are come, going to market. You'll be able to own moments now. You'll be able to host the, the content on the nodes. And everybody will be able to watch this show completely for free. That's such a massive step that we, we're, we're taking. And, and the idea behind this platform is that we keep it super easy to use so that people can share this with their friends, with people who aren't into crypto, who aren't into NFTs, and they can just come on board, enjoy the content, and bring value into the ecosystem that way. That's amazing. I really, really, really like that free part of it. Like, mm -hmm. my blood is just like, ooh, good deals, free things. And I'm like, yes, yes, I love it. <laughs> so, you know, to be able to stream any type of content and just watch it for free is a huge plus, especially if everyone's going to, you know, if there's going to be all this hype around it, you want to see it and you don't want to exactly. be blocked by a paywall, right? And so how are you going to share that love if you can't watch it? Exactly, it out, exactly. Just, uh, and this is how we bring people into the ecosystem. This is how we bring people and introduce them to Gala. Like this is the, as far as I know, this is the first Web3 product that you can share with non-Web3 people, but they don't have to 
start a wallet. They don't have to understand MetaMask. They don't have to, you know, go through all of that technical hurdle to be involved. That's such a big step forward. Like, amazing, you guys. Amazing. Massive. And I'm hoping that most people in the community have already seen the trailer. It's been out for a couple of days. It's had a lot of heat on, on YouTube. But we have it ready to go. Uh, good pull. Are you are you locked and loaded? Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Video entry 432. Time. 0625. Been up all night reworking the comms to sustain neural connectivity. Can't afford another fill craniotomy. Grim! Terminal. If I fail again, our results could be dire. Grim, hold on! You need to get over here right now. He just had another seizure. How many holes are you gonna drill in your head before the only monument they put your name on is a tombstone? I have to do this and I need your help. What I've created is the next evolution of mankind. A colossal leap in brain-computer interfacing. It will reshape humanity. It will change everything. This kind of attack that certain people would kill for if they could access it. Uh. You and Zelsi are the only ones I trust. I know how important this is to you. I'm just saying, at what cost? Financial systems, social structures, hunger. We can bring tyrants to their knees. Hackers are connected. We control 80% of the nodes on the grid because of loyalty and discipline. Well, lucky for you, the devil wants a partner. No! Tell me about Marcus Grimm, also known as Razor. That's a death warrant. You want me to wait for everybody to die or just you? Bribe him or beat him, all gloves off. Marcus Grimm is officially an enemy of the state. Smoke him out. They're coming after us, all of us. Is there gonna be a leader? You think you can burn me? If it kills me. Maybe it was worth it. Tell me that gave you goosebumps because it gave me right? goosebumps. <laughs> right? I am so excited. So excited. Yeah, this, this is, I mean, it's it's been amazing to watch this like develop and, and to be involved in, in such an incredible project, right? And to see the stars that are coming in into Web3 is incredible. Like, you know, M Mina Suvari is going to be out doing the press junkets on, on this. Uh, I don't know if you spotted Danny Trejo in the in the I, uh, in the thing. Yeah, he's he's a, a supporting um, part, and like just the the high production quality and the 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 standards that we're setting for Web three is is massive, right? I I couldn't be more excited about this coming out. Honestly, um, from watching just like the first three episodes, mm -hmm. um, blown away, you guys like. I really enjoyed it. I wanted to binge watch the whole thing. Obviously, we weren't allowed to because it wasn't released yet. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I would have liked to. But you guys, seriously, when it comes out, you guys have to watch it. Like, you need to experience that rush that I felt while watching it. Like, it, I, there's nothing I can say to do it justice. So just keep oh, watching. I, <laughs> if you watch the trailer and you and you didn't enjoy it, I don't know what to tell you, right? That That is, that's an incredible piece of uh, of content. So yeah, we're going to be dropping the first two episodes uh, on Sunday for, for the world. And then we're going to be dropping an episode a week after that. And um, yeah, and then once the, the full thing is out, we're going to be really kicking into overdrive to, you know, bring everybody in from a, from a marketing standpoint. So yeah, just expect expect to see um, this everywhere. I am super excited to see it everywhere. Like it deserves that attention, seriously, because I don't think there's anything out there like this. So no, let's set the bar up high, like hella high.
Indeed, and certainly not from from like a Web three space. I think this is this is really going out to the industry and saying, look, we we know what we're doing. This is a really serious production that we've we've put together. Yeah, and I, you can just you you can see already how big this could be. So we're we're looking forward to it reaching its Absolutely. potential. Absolutely. Now, um, I do have a few questions to ask you. Um, if yes. you're up for questions, okay. I'm so. always up for questions. <laughs> Um, so now that we're in Q2 um, mm. of the year, what are we expecting to see coming from Gala Film? Well, in, in Q2, we're going to be working on our token launch. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have a load of updates to come to the, the platform and we'll be getting ready. You know, Q Q2 for us is about preparing for the rest of the year and setting up all of the things that we need to have a really thriving ecosystem um, by the time December rolls around, right? We're we're going to be launching different sections of Gala Film that um, cater to different types of people in the industry. We've got Gala Indie coming out, which you know is for for people that have already produced their show and are looking for a place for distribution. And then we've got this really interesting concept called pitches. And pitches is kind of like a social way of supporting projects early on. We'll, we'll see writers putting up ideas, we'll see directors gathering, you know, you know, funding and, and token being locked against them so that they can then partner with writers and, and create projects within the ecosystem. You know, we're, we're trying to create a suite of products that just about anybody in the industry can tap into, whether you're, you know, a high level production company that, that is making a show like Razor, or if you're, you know, a one, one person writer who's just got this incredible idea and needs other people involved in that process to make it. I like that quite a bit. Um, now, I was thinking about, you know, just like writers, um, producers, whoever just showcasing their skills. Mm -hmm. Would it be plausible to have something like gala shorts so that, um, you know, just short, short segments of like the best creators? Yeah, um, with well, their little films up on Tech Gala Film, that would be kind of cool. So, so <laughs> interestingly enough, there's a there's a lot of data out there in the industry which is saying that people want shorter form content, mm -hmm. right? And Raze is a great example. We you, you would you would normally go for a a thirty minute episode, but we extended the series and made them fifteen minutes, so that they're super quick, super um, focused on the storyline. And you know, just deliver as much adrenaline as you can in the in the mm. fifteen minutes. So, shorter content is very um, exciting in the world at the moment. But yeah, it, it, the the idea of Gala Film is that it's an ecosystem where anybody at any level can participate in some way. Whether it's you know just somebody sending a referral link to you know show their friend a great TV show, that is a ecosystem supporting behavior and generates rewards up to running a node and helping us deliver content to people. Like there's so many different ways that you can get involved from a, a tech perspective, from being a fan of film, um, up to, you know, being a being a creator and, and having a project funded. That's interesting. Now, if there are creators out there that wanted to say, join, um, I guess the gala team, how would they go about doing that? Or like even reaching out to pitch their ideas, things like that. Discord. Get in the Discord. All Have right. a chat with us. We're we're all we're all in there quite often, but obviously launch week we're there all the time at the moment. But yeah, we we are we we definitely have a route for for anybody at any stage of production and at any stage of creativity to to lock into the platform and you know find other people that are doing the same thing, find people that are doing complementary things. You know, we 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 really see this ecosystem as being a place where great content and great creators can thrive. I like that. So you guys, if you guys have questions or want to join in anything like that, make sure you join film discord, gala film discord, get in on the conversation. Like even if you don't know what's happening, jump in, just lurk and read. You'll find out what's happening real quick there. Um, sorry, Paul. Um, Oh, so there is um, a link to the Discord in our description box below. So if you guys want that quick link to join Discord, get in there. Um, sorry, I, I swear good Paul is real. And that's why we look like we're crazy half the time. Like, 
<laughs> good Paul. Good Paul is talking to us. That's why I swear he's real. Um, other than that, Hutch, what other major things can we look forward to film-wise? Or is there anything being released or, you know, anything like that? We want leaks. The oh, community yeah, wants leaks. leaks. Right, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I I, um, I get in trouble regularly for leaking stuff that I don't mean to, but um, there's nobody here to stop me. So exactly, uh, I'm not saying no. <laughs> the, so the, there's a there is a big thing, you know, to to bring the focus back to to Razor for a moment. We we actually submitted this um, for the the next Emmys campaign. So it is currently in the for your consideration part of the of the process and again i, I think with with something of this high quality especially coming out of web3 we need to put our best foot forward and if um you know a, a nomination or a, or a win indeed are on the cards there's no better way for us to show the traditional film industry that we've arrived right so that is uh, we, we haven't gone out um publicly with that too much but but yes you should be also seeing a load of press for for the stars of this show going out i know there are some big i can't name the the stations but they're they're going to be on tv they're going to be talking about razor very exciting and then i think towards the end of the year we've we've got a, a host of shows that are ready to to drop we uh, we've not put official dates on those yet but you know you will be seeing the You'll be seeing Ghost of Ruin. You'll be seeing uh, Almost Jaded. You'll probably also be seeing Fall Down. Um, I've seen Sorry. cuts of all of them. They're all incredible. I, I, I can't pick a favorite. They're all amazing. You should watch them all. So uh, I, I also heard uh, whispers of, was it Witch Box? Witch Board. Witch Board. Yes. yes. Well, the, the, first, the first previews were seen. And... Um, I've we we have a separate uh, uh, chat specifically for for the the sort of creative um, you know the people involved in the creative decisions in the in the film industry and I have never seen it that busy. It people were raving about it. That that I think is the um, you know it's the north star that we're we're working towards. And when when that I mean to be honest, I'm I'm already in interacting with the the Jamie Campbell Bauer. Uh, fans on Twitter, and they are. It, it really highlights the point of film, right? We're getting into the the true fans that those people who are absolutely fanatic about actors or directors or stories, and um, yeah, they they've been they've been making witchboard art and gifts and completely no 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 relation to to Web three. They've just been doing it because they heard about the IP, they heard about their favorite actor being involved. That is exactly the kind of fandom that can allow these ips to really flourish so yeah that that is going to be that's going to be mega i can't wait for that to come out <laughs> honestly the very first time i saw anything about it i was like oh this is so cool and then it went quiet it was radio silence as if you know you guys mm -hmm. wanted to keep it under wraps and then i kind of forgot about it and then it came back at gdc during like the gala gala chain hackathon thing and i was like oh my god it's coming back oh my god so now i want to hear more about it like i'm super super hyped like that is all up my alley when it comes to the stuff i like so that's your thing yeah i i you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna love it i think um i just i i can't i can't i can't say enough good things about it i can't say enough good things about chuck who who is just brilliant the all of the all of the, the high level that has been achieved there is incredible and yeah i think i think when we start thinking about how we come to market as a as a, a vertical having tentpole incredibly high level films is essential and yeah we're we're, we're going to go out. It's not just a one, two punch. It's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Just keep that combo going. Exactly. Exactly. So um, yeah, watch this space. Make sure if you're, if you're watching and you haven't gone into the film discord yet, why go there now? Exactly. You guys, why get your asses in there now today. Okay. <laughs> we even made it easy for you guys. It's in the description box in there. So get in, get in. So um, I do have a few more very, very light questions for you. Go um, for it. I've got all evening. 
perfect. I'm going to keep you all evening. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. So I wanted to know, since you are in film, what is your most favorite horror film as a child and why? <laughs> oh, well, the one that had the biggest impact on me was 13 Ghosts. I don't, me too. I don't, you know it. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I, as well, like, it, there's a lot of American horrors and like not all of them make it over to the UK, right? But 13 Ghosts was just like, it was a bit kitsch at the time, but looking back at it now, I'm like, oh, that's so early 2000s, right? All of the actors that are in it, all of the acting, and then these terrifying ghosts that are roaming around the house. Like, why were they in that house? Who knows? Why does it got all these things? Why, do they, why are they locking ghosts in a house? It doesn't make any sense, but it was terrifying. It was terrifying. As a teenager watching that. So, that's a good question. What's yours? What's your favorite one? Honestly, it was also 13 Ghosts. That's no, one of the wasn't. ones that traumatized me as a kid. Seriously, I saw it in <laughs> theaters. I was well underage. Obviously, there was no adults with us, but we still right. got the tickets. The tickets, we went in. And I swear the jackal to this very day scares the living bejesus out of me. Like if I saw that guy running at me, I'd be like, Code Brown, I give up. Just I'll I'll just okay. lay down and die. It's fine. And the <laughs> the concept of the glasses as well, like. And you know they had those they had those little lights on them. It was so early two thousands. I love it. Oh, that's a good that's a good. Uh, it was a great film. Oh yeah, that was one of the ones that scared the living bejesus out of me. But I love it. Yeah, so awesome. I was hoping that you know any of the films that uh, we possibly come out with will be on par of scaring the living daylights out of people in just the same way. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I know, I know there's some stuff going on. I'll, I'll, uh, maybe we should float the ideas past you, Anita. We should, we should get you into those, into those things. And if you're like, oh, that's terrifying. Then we'll be like, right, that's the one. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> there's not a lot that scares me, honestly. Like when it comes to Western horror movies, it's nothing like Asian horror movies. Asian horror movies mm -hmm. will give me nightmares. I won't sleep. Yeah, so I find that a lot of horror movies now that I see that are the the Western ones, I'm kind of like, uh, show me something new. Well, and it's it's the we the Western audience, I think, like that jump scare. You know, it's mm -hmm. like we're we're prepping you up. We're going. We, we don't want to be too too nasty on you, right? We're gonna you you know the music's building, the suspense is building. You're like, oh, something's gonna happen, and then you get the jump scare, and it's sort of like softened. But mm -hmm. yeah, the some of those original horrors that have been remade are terrifying. Ooh, so um, the other question I want to ask with yeah. how the film is made, um, do you guys use some of that audio that creates that anxiety in people? You know what I'm talking about? I do. Yeah. I mean, there there is um, I think it's called the shepherd's tone, but there's this concept that Hans Zimmer likes to use a lot where he gets lots of different layers of instruments that are rising. And then as you get to the top, they sort of phase out and come back in at the bottom. So it it gives this sort of sense of continuous, everlasting suspense that's being that's being built. Um, yeah, I mean, we you know we 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 partner with a, with some great studios, so I'm not in there in the edit suite, right? Like getting getting uh, put choosing the music that's going on to it. But um, yeah, there's some really interesting work that uh, some amazing work that um, the Razor team have done. And that soundtrack is going to be coming out on uh, on Gala Music. That was a nice segue, actually. I just realised that you were perfect. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. But uh, yeah, that 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 there are some incredible pieces of music that were written for this show that are going to be coming out there. And obviously, with with Ghost of Ruin um, working with Hans Zimmer's Bleeding Fingers, like that soundtrack is going to be incredible. Oh, so, I can't wait. Yeah, we use we use scary stuff all the time. It, it, film is just there to sort of. Manipulate, manipulate you emotionally for, mm -hmm. for an hour and a half. Honestly, you guys are doing so well because with Razor, I was on the edge of my seat and I was like, <gasps> like I'm sweating. I don't need to be sweating. I'm just watching, right? But I'm sweating. Well, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> it's ripping. And then, and then to see somebody like Mina Suvari, who you've probably seen in like American Beauty or American Pie, like so, some very, some very, you know, soft, roles where where um she's the protagonist and now to see her as the antagonist as this like really intense like she's out for for marcus grimm in there she is captivating in in a lot of her scenes like yeah i, I the, the the level of of 
incredible casting in in Razor specifically is something to behold, right? It, even even uh, you know Chris Marquette and Mimi Davia who play uh, Octi and and Zelsi, those two are incredible. I think Sorry, I was really just going, well, I was going well on, done. On no, me. not at all. I mean, keep talking about it because there's not, I, I can't say enough about Razor, seriously. Like, um, no. I, I'm just like, uh, but it's so good, you no. guys. Like, it's so good. I don't even know what to say without giving it all away, but like, it's so good. You guys need to watch it. Just get watching. <laughs> Agreed. And, and if you have one of those key NFTs, you can watch the first two episodes today. Utilize those keys, guys, because honestly, just just go watch it. Like, why do you have to wait like everyone else if you have these keys? Don't wait. Yeah. Go, go, go watch it. What else are you doing Thursday night? It's easy. <laughs> cool. Any other questions for me? Or should, shall I? I just uh, want to make I sure I've got everything on my list. Yeah, right, go right. through your list. We've talked about that. Yes, wonderful. Yeah, it was more just vision stuff then, like the how Gala Film came to be. Um, I'm happy to go through any of those things, but uh... yeah. So why don't you tell us a little bit about how Gala Film came to be? Because I've always been curious. Like mm. um, from our standpoint, it was like surprise, we got music, and then surprise, now we have film too. And we're like, wow, where did this come from? Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, as soon as you branch out of games and you put music into the into the fold, film is the obvious next step, right? So I remember there being some some big conversations coming up to Galaverse too. And, you know, that was when we started formulating what that could be. And to be honest, we, we, we locked in a couple of incredible projects. We went through to Galaverse. And then after that, we, we were sort of still in that process of building exactly what the proposition looked like, exactly what, what this all could, could be to Web3, right, to the ecosystem of Gala. And there was this then intense period where we were talking to People at every level of production in Hollywood, right? We were talking to massive studios. We were talking to, you know, big actors. We were talking to, you know, one-man bands. We were talking to just every single different type of person that exists in that industry. We we're talking to them. And we went in with this concept of if we just recreate the traditional industry with blockchain, it's not really innovation, right? We're not changing anything. We're not fixing any of the problems that exist. We're just recreating what's there and, and calling it blockchain. So we very much went in to try and fix some of those problems. And if you ask people in the industry, there are a couple of really key things that they all talk about, right? The fairness of contracts is a massive one. There are enormous IPs out there that you've definitely heard the names of that have had multiple, uh, you know, multiple uh, films. And they on paper have never made a, a dime's profit, right? And you know you'd, you'd think how can that be but there's a lot there's a way of obfuscating and there's tax stuff that people are doing to a make sure that they don't show any profit and b means that they don't pay the people who are due splits on the back end so the first thing we knew that we could definitely beat that industry was is how is having good contracts for our our creators um the second thing that everybody talks about is executive overreach right there are executives at every layer of those streaming companies who are giving opinions on what the creative should be. And mostly it's not their fault. It comes from the fact that these companies have shareholders and they need to grow month over month, quarter over quarter, year over year. And so to do that, they have to appeal to broader and broader audiences, which is, you, I mean, you'll, you'll have heard people you know, complaining about how every film is just the same action, romance, comedy, right? It's, it's, it's trying to appeal to everybody to, to, you know, and unfortunately, that sacrifices the creatives, and those aren't the films that most creators want to want to make. So we knew that we could align the incentives of that industry better so that that wasn't a problem, right? We were trusting creators to make the things that they wanted to. We were allowing them to connect with fans, and they were allowed we were allowing their fans to be involved in that process early on. And one other thing that really struck a chord with the whole team was that, there were several projects that told us that they were actually having to censor their own product in order to get onto the streaming companies because something that they said in those films or something that was brought up didn't align with the interests of you know people that, that were invested in those companies so being anti-censorship is something i know that runs deep in 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 web3 
you know, breaking the system is something that runs deep. Giving power back to creators is something that runs super deep. So we went about finding a way that we could, um, you know, bring people into that process, create incredible cinema, but most importantly, give our creators the most freedom, right? You know, I, th there are probably two or three directors that are given mostly creative freedom, right? Quentin Tarantino is probably one of them. And that's because <laughs> people want to watch a Quentin Tarantino movie. They don't want to watch somebody doing a version of it that, you know, is also action and comedy. So, um, yeah, that, that kind of became our North Star. And I think, you know, when you listen to Chuck and, and you listen to David talking about the, the process of working with us, I think, I think we hit a lot of those points, right? We've, we've, definitely we've definitely been good to work with we've definitely allowed them total creative freedom in what they were doing the next bit is the interesting bit because if we can demonstrate that this way of working is better then people are going to be lining up around the block to work with gala film right they will know that when when they get a film funded here that we are going to let them do what they want to do to achieve their vision and we can be safe doing that because we know that the fans want to see that director's vision. They want to see that creator's vision and they want to be involved. That's 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 ultimately, you know, we're all early. So that's what that's what people want with film. Absolutely. Well, that was a long monologue. I'm sorry. That was no, uh, not at all. That is something we needed to hear because like what makes us different from everyone else? And that's exactly it. Right. Mm. This is what we need to hear. So yeah, thank you for letting us know, because like, I would have been like, what's the difference? But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, this was, this was lovely. Any other questions? I don't want to, I don't, I don't honestly, not this, from I mean, my I mean, end. Like, like, I want to ask you like, what's your favorite comedy film and things like that. But like, you know, we could wait for another day, but I'm hearing the people and they're saying we want a comedy horror. Is that something we can bring to Gala Film? A comedy horror is uh, definitely something that we can bring to Gala Film. I, somebody, somebody stop me because I'm not allowed to talk about it. Oh, we lost Anita. Well, uh, that removes any obstacle for leaking. Yes, we might have one of those on the way. Anita's back. Yay. Hey. Sorry. <laughs> so I missed that bit what you said about the call. I didn't horror. say anything. I didn't leak anything. Uh, I didn't give anything oh. away. Oh, 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 you know, just by saying that now that I now that you said I didn't leak anything, everyone we know there's a little more coming to that, don't we? There were there were no leaks. Don't, Deduction don't skills. <laughs> the community, we're 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 within friends, right? You wouldn't you wouldn't tell you wouldn't tell no, Kim. Not at all. I wouldn't tell anyone at all. Yeah. Just you guys, all of you too, don't be telling no one. <laughs> I'm kidding. So uh, are you saying that there's that genre to look forward to in the near future? I would say that we have a, um, you know, a good, a healthy slate of films that are being worked on. And I think that if you like that particular genre, you won't be disappointed by paying attention to what's happening in the film discord. Yes. <laughs> Y'all hear that? I saw your guys' comments. So uh, make sure you join the film discord if you haven't already, because you never know. Hutch might accidentally leak things and not realize it. So if you catch it, share. That happens a lot. <laughs> it's hold off a lot. So again, awesome. Thank you so much for all that info. Like. Uh, we love hearing about film. If you could give us more trailers in the future, that'd be really awesome too. Any clips that you can like release to us, we would love to share. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously there's a there's a witchboard teaser out there for people to see. There's a Ghost of Ruin trailer to to see. Um, if you if to be honest, if you've been knocking around in the Gala Discords and you haven't seen those things, I'd be surprised. We've been shouting about them pretty hard, but uh, yes, please do go to the film Discord uh, for all of the latest things. Awesome. So Hutch, thank you so much for being on the show today. I am going to let you go while I talk about and address these film notes as well before we wrap up the show. So bye. thank you so much and bye for now. So again, you guys, so much to unpack with film. As you can tell, we 
ask questions without questions and we got some answers without asking the questions so as you guys all know um you know there there's probably most likely going to be a comedy horror um based off of hutch's non reactions <laughs> so i'm going to hold on to my seat and wait for this comedy horror to come in because i love that stuff too any let's address these film notes so you guys there are oh no i froze oh what is happening with my internet oh okay so anyways we are going to talk about these nodes okay so elephant in the room let's address them for your eligible daily distribution make sure you guys have your nodes up to date version 3.5.9 or higher as this is the minimum required to host content okay if you need to upgrade your node version you can find it on the dashboard in your notes each film node requires its own IP address. If you use a firewall, please ensure your nodes expose the following ports, 4002, 9096, and 5080. Now this mostly applies to people with home setups behind a router or a firewall. If, you're host, if you are hosted uh, with a provider, you most, it's most likely already open, so no action is needed. Now, film nodes need to utilize the full node specs, okay? So those are OS system of Mac, Windows, or Linux, and it's gonna be 64-bit required. Memory is four gigs of RAM, processor two or more CPU cores. Storage is gonna be 60 gigs of free disk space and a stable internet connection. Now, this requirement is to support the rollout of the film platform, okay? So we're already working on a post-launch patch that'll require another update to your node software. So keep your eyes and ears peeled for that update. The team will let us know as soon as it is available and uh, we'll let you guys know to upgrade your nodes. All right. So again, if there are any other questions about film, notes, any of that stuff, jump into the film discord and ask those questions. They are very active in there, especially leading up to, you know, the launch and the premiere. Okay, so they are in there looking for questions. If you need them answered, get your asses in there. Okay. Other than that, again, another very happy birthday to our girl, Tiny. Happy birthday. Everyone wish her happy birthday. Okay. <laughs> And other than that, thank you guys so much for joining us on another episode of Ahead of the Game. So that brings us to a close for today. So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and hit that notification bell because we're out here showing you love. So make sure you show us some too. All right. That is all. See you next week. Bye-bye for now. Why you always passive?